I made a bowl aquarium for my shrimp, which does In the first days of the fishbowl, it's important to do water changes every day. This will help prevent algae and reduce ammonia, nitrate and nitrites. These are invisible chemicals that are toxic for your shrimp and fish. Before I add the shrimp, I made sure to test the water to make sure the parameters were right. After I made sure the water was safe, I started adding the first inhabitants. These are rabbit snails. They have a beautiful yellow color and shell, and they will help keep the aquarium clean. Finally, it's time to add the cherry shrimp. I will be getting them from my other aquarium. It's important to acclimate them slowly to the water temperature and conditions of the fishbowl. Cherry shrimp are hardy and can thrive in a variety of water conditions. During the first days, since the ecosystem is still very new, I'll be giving them some shrimp food.
cherry shrimp are easy to maintain and don't need a lot of space. I will be regularly checking the water parameters and making sure they are within the correct range for my shrimp. But besides that, the fishbowl has now transformed into a stunning, self-sustaining ecosystem. They seem to enjoy their new home, as I watch them explore everything. With light and nutrients, algae will appear, which will provide for food for many animals, such as the shrimp and the snails. If you plan on making a fishbowl aquarium for yourself, I definitely recommend getting some shrimp. They're very peaceful and easy to care for, and they're very fun to watch. If you want to see sneak peeks and updates from my projects, be sure to check out my Instagram. I have many more projects coming, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of them. Thanks for watching.